Hello and welcome to Amethyst Star Crafting. My name is Jane Ormark and I'm a UK independent stamping up demonstrator. And today we're looking at the lovely Dainty Delight dies. They are just wonderful. I love them to pieces. And you have so many different, let me turn them over the right way, you have so many different dies. Um, you've got all of these pieces that will cut out various different I put mine on magnetic sheets um, that will cut out various different flowers um, leaves pretty flowers and then these die cut out all of the um, the pretty little flowers in here I've done something with a couple of these I'm going to do some more with some of them later on um, but just beautiful, really beautiful. So today I thought we would work with the dies because I've done a couple of things with the dies, but I wanted to sort of take it to the next level. And we're using the Covered in Sunshine because this sentiment works perfectly with the flowers. May the road ahead of you be brighter than the one behind, lined with wildflowers and covered in sunshine. So what I've done is I have taken... Let's move these out of the way because I've done a little bit of this to start off with because otherwise it would take forever um, to die cut out the pieces. So what I've done is, you can see, I've die cut two of these, which are the leaves. Got to take the pieces out of the middle, but I just about got them out of there. There's a couple of pieces because it, uh, it was very tight where you can see it hasn't quite done that one and I think there's one further down there might only be one but we're going to cover that with a flower so this is going to come in over the top on here and I'm just going to glue this straight away so I'm just going to glue it round the edge like this Apologies if you can hear the sound of rain on my roof. It is absolutely hammering it down today. It's um, It hasn't stopped raining all day. I've got my light on because it is just one of those days, which is a perfect craft day. Um, apart from the light for you guys, it's perfect for crafting because you can't really go out today. So the sentiment... Um, again, I took that out of a centerpiece and I've literally just done a tiny border and I've fussy cut it. So it's not absolutely perfect, but it works perfectly for me. So this is going to go in on here like this. I'm not putting it up with dimensionals because I don't want too many layers coming on this. So this is just going to come straight on here. And as I say, if you can hear, you turn your sound up, you can probably hear the rain. So I'm trying to speak louder than I normally do. So that's going to come in as near to the centre as I can get it. And then we're going to take this one. And I just need to take out the little centre pieces of here. Because I've literally just cut it out. So I need to take that out. And then this out. It is the most, when it says dainty, it should say delicate. They are just the most beautiful dyes. They really are. Um, I'm always saying that, you know, dyes have come so far over the years that we've got these ones that are just so fine, but are just beautiful. So this is going to go in on here. On one side if it comes off a little bit it doesn't matter because I can always trim it but I want it to come in and again it depends on the size of your card UK sizes are narrower and longer um, US are shorter and fatter so um, you know if you use a slightly larger piece of card you'd be able to get it on whoops my glue nearly fell off you'd be able to get it on fairly simply so these pieces are going to go that's already stuck down so what I want to do with this is to just take this and 
um, if you use wet glue the nozzle of the wet glue is so fine that you can quite easily glue these pieces down um, fairly easily gracious me it is like I'm I'm so lucky I live on a hill so that the whole of my town would have to be underwater before I got flooded but my goodness it runs down my hill sometimes and my garden's like a quagmire my poor little dog she like she loves going out in it anyway but she keeps coming in with goodness knows what all over her because it's quite muddy out there now so it's um it's always quite fun so I'm just going to press this down so that it comes and we've got a little leaf coming over which is fine but that's how we want it on there and then I'm going to do the other one on the other side so exactly the same I just need to put a little bit of glue in on here take it down and then I can turn it and put it in on here and as I say, you know, the wet glue is a great way of doing it. You can use the adhesive sheets, um, but, you know, just a little bit of wet glue with your... Um, I know some people will just to put dobs in, but I tend to just follow it down. It's like a pen. And as long as you don't squeeze it too hard, um, it works perfectly. So this piece is going to come in on here. And I want this to just come again, just so that it comes up in on this one, so that it looks as if it's a complete, almost like a complete circle on there, which is rather good. Okay, so that's our, that's our base done. Now what I've done is, and I've done these before as well to save a bit of time, is I've done some flowers. So these flowers, you if you take the let me show you in the die and this is where you use your scraps um i've literally taken you can see the tiny scraps i've used so any little bits of scrap you've got great for doing the flowers i can get another couple out of those these are going to go because they're finished but um this is the outside so that's the flowers that i've used these two and these are the pieces for the inside so they cut out two little circles and then two little um, rectangle, sorry, triangles with sort of, you know, rounded pieces. And they go into the top of those. So if you notice, I've done them all with the circles apart from I had one that was left over. So I've actually put a triangular one in there, but I don't think it looks too bad. And then on these ones you rotate these pieces round until they come I've done a couple of them until they sort of come like that so they will work in different shapes so that one is more rounded that one's more pointed um, doesn't really matter too much but again it's the sort of thing that I just want to put some of these flowers round here to just make it really pretty. Now, I could put them on with dimensionals and I'd have to put a tiny little dimensional. So I think I'm going to use some of the minis in on here because I think I can get a mini in on the center. Let me see if we can get, yes, a mini will go. And this is how clever stamping up is they've made it so that the mini goes right into the center perfectly so I'm just going to start that's going to go on there because that's the one that I said wasn't quite cut out so oops glue on my fingers um so then I'm going to take um I'm just going to sort of spread them out a bit I think so how many of these these are the oh that flew across a bit. So I've got three of these, this colour. Because they were scraps, I've got different colours with different ones in there. So I think I've only got, okay, so I've got twos and twos. So I'm going to put them sort of 
um, one side and the other, if you see what I mean, so that they they come quite nicely in one side and then across on the other. So this is going to come opposite side on here and we can put that down like that. Then we can have the these two and they can go opposite sides. So it's a great way of using up tiny weeny little scraps of colour um, and obviously flowers, you can do them all sorts of colours. You can do them all in pinks, in reds, in blues, in oranges, um, you know, whatever you've really got of scraps that are over. So we're going to have one up on here and then we're going to have one down on here like this. So that's on the other side. OK, now I need to just put some of these ones that are um no i'm not i'm going to carry on doing the the fours then i don't get myself confused so we've got two of these so i can put that one in here that one in there on that side and this one in on this side like that and then we've got these two which are going to be top and bottom I think that's why it's quite nice when you've got lots of different colours to work with because if you've only got one one color tone um, it doesn't work as well so that one's on there and this one's going to come in on here like that okay so now i've got these i've only got three of these but that's fine and i think i can i think i'm going to glue these down actually so I'm just going to glue these rather than um, use dimensionals. And this is where you can just tuck them in. So I'm going to tuck that in. Come on, it's going to come underneath this one like that. So that can go there. So you've then got the different heights in. Then we can have this one can go down on the bottom. Come on, little bit of wet glue. And then this can be tucked in on here, I think. Like that underneath. And then I've got another couple. So I can do them in alternating pieces. We can do this one just tucked in there. that and then this one is going to come in I'm going to do it the opposite way on this one so I'm going to turn this one upside down and I'm just going to put him in underneath like that on there there we go so we've got the side flowers and the top flowers and then all I need to do is to put this onto a base I've only just folded this I haven't bone folded it if you use your bone folder it lies nice and flat so it's me with loads of bits of dimensional everywhere but put that in on there and you've got a just a very very pretty card just losing these very sweet little flowers and as I say you could do some more you could add some leaves and things in there um, but I think it works just as it is I love these these pretty little flowers on there. So I hope you enjoyed it. As always, please stay safe and well. Please be kind and look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>